Yo, you. Hi, I'm Andy, and today I'm going to do my best, right, my best, to show you how to get a video to work on this Sony MP3 player. Okay, the same kind of thing I'm going to show you today does work on the Sony PSP. Okay, it works on the PSP too, but it's slightly different, okay. So we won't be going too much into the PSP today, but I'm going to show you how to get a video so like you've burned say for instance you've got a DVD you've used DVD decryptor okay you've converted your DVD into an AVI file and it's stored in your computer okay I'm gonna take you've already done that okay because if, if you haven't then you probably won't understand what I'm gonna step I'm gonna tell you now okay so you've got an AVI file okay or a DVD file and it's stored on your computer and you want to put that onto your Sony MP3 player okay Sony MP3 players play MP4 format, okay? They'll play it easily. However, if you use your standard MP4 converter, all you'll get is a picture with no sound, okay? Or you'll get sound with no picture, okay? Sony's made it really hard, okay, to stick videos onto this MP3 player, okay? I'm sorry if you listen to Sony, but you have because most people in this world don't know what the hell you're on about all right so this is um, a video that I've just put on my mp3 player okay I'll just show you briefly it's Diary of the Dead okay and you'll see that all the words all, all line up to and the quality is good okay so here we go hang on one sec okay here we go so I've just put this on I've just plugged it into my amp so you can hear it Step out, or we will kill you. Okay, guys. Now, for this, I you're gonna have to do some really simple stuff. Well, simple. <laughs> it took me a while, but. I got there in the end, I worked it out. Right, to your right, at the top of your screen, okay, I don't know which way I'm pointing, which way I'm pointing, to your right, top of the screen is a link, okay, if you click that link, it's going to take you to a Japanese site, okay, the Japanese site are found to be safe, alright, so don't worry, it's safe, and um, from there, you're going to download a converter, which is going to convert all your... Um, all your AVI files, DVD files, into an MP4 format, which is compatible with your MP3 player. Okay, so I'm going to show you that site now. Okay, and what to do? Bear with me, because I'm filming. <laughs> right, here we go. Whoa. Right, big screen. Okay, I've just put um, the into the top browser window here. I've just put the link to the site. Okay, so I'm just going to go to the site. Again, you'll just need to click on the link. Okay. So, and you're right now this is the site okay it's a Japanese site therefore yes it's all written in Japanese but you have to trust me on this one okay this is the converter okay that you're gonna need to download okay if you scroll down the page okay just a little bit to here you see look it says 2005-12 version 0.434 3GP converter tool. Okay, click on that. Okay, okay. Now, if you down save it to your desktop. Now, I've already done it, so I won't do it. But I've already done it. Okay, but I'll show you that now. So save that to your desktop. Okay. Right now, I'm just going to exit the browser to my desktop. All right, there's my converter. Look, already set up there. Right. When you've downloaded it on your desktop you're going to have a zip file okay now I've put this I put the zip file in a new folder here I named it zip 3gp okay this is the zip folder you're going to get when you download it from the Japanese site now I've put it in a new folder I've named it 3g zip whatever now if you extract that folder in here you're going to get this folder okay double click this folder and this is what's inside alright 
T93 D converter there, some readme files, but they're all in Japanese of course, and you've got a setup file. If you double click the setup file, okay, you get this this uh, box. Now this is all the different formats you, it will do. Okay. In your case, it's all going to be written in Japanese, alright? So the first thing you need to do is sort that out. Easy to do. Down the bottom here, drop it down, select English and apply. Okay? It'll all be in English. <laughs> Funny that. Right now scroll down the bottom here. Okay. And you want this this one here. Okay. Model MP4 for PSP direct rename. Okay? Again and apply the changes. Okay. Then what's gonna happen is you're gonna get this box up which is your converter tool alright a few things you got to do on here you're going to have to click browse okay which uh, will the output dictionary for me this is my output dictionary a new folder film is ready for PSP okay now as I said they work on PSP and MP3 but I'm not going to go into the PSP side of things today because it's a bit more hardcore okay we're going to stick to the MP3 so you'll just select where you want the file to go when it's been converted from the browse button yeah you just do that and go browse blah 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 uh, this drop down window here you need to go down to the third one okay one two three okay this is just um, mono you can have mono or stereo sound mono is fine for mp3 uh, and it's just the smoothness and the picture and how fast it moves and stuff. You don't want to be moving too quick. As the words ain't going to match up with the characters and it's going to be rubbish. Okay. Then what you've got to do. Now I said you, you should have your AVI files stored in your computer from your ripped DVDs. Okay. I've got it from here which I put from later. Uh, yeah, right. These are all mine. Okay. These are all my files I've got on my computer. Look. 10,000 BC. 27 dresses. 38 days later. Aliens vs. Blah, blah, blah. blah yeah. Okay, with these, pick one, for instance, look, 30 days and night, drag it into the top here, what happens? It starts converting. That's the AVI file, okay? Now it's converting and it's going to output it into films ready for PSP, because I did the output dictionary to there, okay? Now I'm going to bought that because I don't want to copy that one because it's rubbish anyway, alright? Uh, that's what you do okay then when it's converted okay I'm just going to click on here now when it's converted open okay right so I I've already got it open <laughs> right here we go when it's converted this is the output folder okay now you're going to have one of these and it's going to be named this. Now it's very important that you do not change this. Okay? This is 27 dresses, okay? I converted it ready for my MP3. But this number will only this is recognized by the MP3. But if you change that, it won't be recognized. Okay? So I'm told. I put it in a folder named 28 dresses so I know what the number means, okay? And these this you're going to get one of these folders. You don't need to add this. You don't need to put this onto the MP3, okay? You can delete the uh, the THM file. The THM file you can delete. Just need to drag. So you'll need to drag that onto your MP3. Not this folder, but what's in it, yeah? And that's it. You just drag that into the video on your folder, on your MP3. So you'll just. Play